हेलो फ्रेंड्स यर इन दिस वीडियो आई विल गिव ए कंप्लीट लिस्ट ऑफ फॉर्मूला टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन पावर स्क्रूज लेट इज गेट स्टार्टेड यर इट इज मैंशन फॉर्मूला लिस्ट फॉर सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम ऑन पावर स्क्रूज सो आई राइट द फर्स्ट फॉर्मूला दैट इज ऑफ मीन डायमीटर मीन डायमीटर डी इज इक्वल टू डी ओ plus dc by 2 that can be explained with a diagram here i am drawing the screw thread profile now in this screw thread profile do indicates the outer diameter dc indicates the core diameter and mean of that now this mean diameter is nothing but denoted by small d so this mean diameter will be equal to it is do plus dc by 2 and another formula is d is equal to do minus pitch by 2 or it is also equal to dc plus pitch by 2 so this is the first formula now the second formula is tan alpha is equal to p upon pi d that is pitch upon pi d now how this formula is there i can explain it with a small diagram here alpha is called as the helix angle pi d is the distance moved by the screw thread in one rotation p is the pitch now when we are rotating the screw thread by one rotation it moves up by pitch or it moves down by pitch so here is the diagram and this formula is from the geometry tan alpha is opposite by adjacent next next formula is of ideal effort and that ideal effort is denoted by p0 that is equal to w into tan alpha here we are not considering friction that is this formula is neglecting friction now after writing ideal effort now i will write actual effort so actual effort applied to rotate the screw actual effort is denoted by p is equal to w into tan alpha plus phi this is the actual effort here since we are considering tan of phi which is called as the friction angle phi is the friction angle so this formula is considering friction since it is considering friction so here it is called as actual effort next is efficiency of screw thread efficiency is denoted by eta of screw and that is equal to ideal effort upon actual effort so here this becomes if i write actual effort that is w tan alpha upon w into tan alpha plus phi so this is the formula to calculate the efficiency of screw thread next torque required to rotate the screw 
this formula of T is equal to actual effort multiplied by the radius of we can say mean diameter I will denote it by T1 that is the torque required to rotate the screw next torque required to overcome collar friction that will be denoted by T2 is equal to mu w into rm this is the general formula now here we will have two different values of rm so at first rm is equal to r1 plus r2 by 2 this is by uniform wear theory and the next formula is rm is equal to r1 cube minus r2 cube upon r1 square minus r2 square that is by uniform pressure theory next after reaching up till this stage that is the sixth formula the seventh formula is speed of screw in rpm that is if we want to calculate how much is the rotational speed of the screw n is equal to the linear speed that is speed in mm per minute divided by the pitch of screw it will be in terms of mm now these formulas which i have written here we can use it for square threads for acme threads also these formulas are there but only we have to take care of one thing here i'll write down that specially for acme threads as we know if i draw the profile of the acme thread your acme thread profile is in this way and if i draw the section now this is the profile of the acme thread this included angle it would be called as 2 beta and suppose if i want to calculate the half of this if i extend this the half of this would be just beta it will be beta so now i'll write down for acme threads it is called as virtual coefficient of friction virtual coefficient of friction and that is mu1 is equal to mu that is the coefficient of friction divided by cos of beta that is the semi friction angle so now everything remains same for acme threads also only thing is we will replace mu with mu1 so in this video we have seen the formula list for solving any kind of problems on power screws